Okay, <laughs> I've been rocking my little hair or whatever. I only had it in a ponytail. But we about to do a sleek ponytail. But what we're going to do is a bun and a bang. So what I said I wanted to try was the bun and the bang with the deep wave hair. So I just want to see how that bang would look, you know, all fluffed up or whatever. And then my bun is going to be crinkled and all of that cuteness. So that's what we're going to dive into today or whatever. I'm about to put this hair up because you know I really don't wear my hair in the winter time. And we already know how to sleek the ponytail up pretty much or whatever. But I'm going to show you that. I probably won't talk through it. And then when we get into actually probably putting the ponytail or something on, I'll dive in and chime in here and there, my honeys, and let you guys know exactly what I'm doing. And even though I previously greased my hair, my honeys, I'm still going in again with this. My do grow make it thick. Y'all know how I feel about it. I've had. So the whole time that my hair is sleeked up hard as a helmet, because you know I'm gonna use this this bed head or whatever. Okay. We've been I've been rocking with the bed head versus the um gots to be sprayed because this is what's in handy for me. Okay, I could go pick this up somewhere, but I haven't been finding the gots to be sprayed. They work just the same, my honeys, but this one may cost a little bit more money, and that's about it. So, other than that, they work the same. Hair going to be hard as a helmet, eating real good because I'm going to have this goodness in here. And then when I go to put the heat on there with the flat iron, okay, to kind of straighten it out more, um, it's going to be more of a protective for my hair. And also, it is going to help my hair get even sleeker, okay? So, when you put all that product in there, which is nothing, don't put nothing in there that will burn your hair out from the heat. Put something in there that's protecting it from the heat. So grease is usually a protectant and like I said, when I put grease in my hair, it thins it out. So it makes it look thinner, you know, and stringy looking. So when I go to straighten, it's going to look even thinner, which is going to be perfect for this ponytail because we want our ponytail to appear real flat and sleeky, right? So I don't really want any type of wave in it. I want it to get it as straight as possible. Now grease causes way more steam when it comes to heat okay so be careful of that you don't have to get too close to the root either because that steam is already going to help straighten as you're pulling so don't try to go all on the scalp and dig because you're going to burn yourself and you do not want to do that okay my honeys i'm just going through section by section part in my hair out greasing the scalp okay so the whole time that this style is in my scalp is eating and that's what you need for healthy hair okay so it always will have that nutrients there while you got all those harsh hey, products no. be quiet man no. while you got all those harsh products no. in your hair you have a protectant so i am going in i'm making sure i hit my areas that i'm struggling with my honey <laughs> kj please <laughs> due to uh eczema okay so right up in there at my top part i'm having um issues up there uh with the eczema and it's growing back but i'm making sure no. i put a lot of um no. grease there <laughs> ah! go no. ahead on man go i'm going i parted it going um front to back no. now now I'm going side to side, my honeys, because I'm going to make sure I cover no, that. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, 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 no. I'm going to make sure I cover that whole area, my honey. This just ain't going to work. <laughs>
when you using that grease mine you do not have to uh flat iron small small sections uh you could make them a little thicker because either way it go that grease is going to help straighten out your hair and um make it sleek anyway so you don't have to overdo it with the yeah, small yeah. parts Now, as we can see, my honeys, it's pretty much already sleek. I don't know, I feel like I got a long neckline, okay? My hair comes all the way down here. So you're taking your spray and your blow dryer, and for me, I say this is, I always say this is a fast process because you don't want your hair to revert if you have kinky curly hair, okay? If you have any type of wave pattern to your hair, it will revert back once wet. So you spray this stuff on there, and you you brush it through okay that way you can get it sleek and nice and smooth and then you dry it and that's got to be a quick process so at this point i got grease in my hair and i straightened it it won't revert as quick as it would on natural hair okay if we just straightened out natural hair uh with nothing on it okay and it's all bouncy and flowy and then we put wet it it will revert quicker than with this grease in there so i'm not really worried about it reverting but i still don't want no wrinkles so i'm still going to make it a fast process Okay, my honeys, while KJ is gone, who I just had to run downstairs to get him up out of here, but he on the way back. So look, once you know what type of ponytail you want to do on a sleek side, whether it's a high pony, low pony, it's better to sleek it while it's in the ponytail, okay? That's like a rough draft. That's not the real pony. You just put it in the pony, and then you sleek it and spray it like we just did. That way, when you're done, you take the uh, pony off, and then you just comb everything accordingly, get the wrinkles out, and then you re-put the pony. Now, this is the real pony, okay? You put it as tight as you need to and all of that. I find that way to be easier because if you don't put it in the pony and then you go trying to, um, you know, mold it up, by the time you go bring it all together, you have wrinkles in your sleek because you brush this over here too far this way, then you brush this side too far that way or not far enough, and now it's just not going to look like it's all coming together sleeky. Is it crazy? 
crooked money. <laughs> I can never get a straight pony. Ever, ever, ever. Is it crooked? Is it crooked, Mia? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty crooked. <laughs> I don't know, my honey. I feel like I'm receding. My forehead is getting even bigger or something. <laughs> sure. I ain't gonna let that fall. Me, my hood is with the one last looking like a little thing, okay. I'm gluing my bang down too, my honey. So, I want to really spray a whole bunch of this right here. I'll probably even put some gas to be on it just to give my hair a little more coverage, so therefore, it won't be like the glue is just strictly on my hair. But I know how to get glue out of my hair, so I really don't care about that. I don't, I'm patient with that, and I can handle it. But I want to show my honeys, you know, another way to do it. So, therefore, because we ain't using gel, you know. So, now it's like another way to do that is to use that gas to be. And make sure it's completely dry. And then spray this on top of that as well and make sure it's completely dry. And then glue your tracks. And you should be safe because when you go to um, wash that out, keep that gookie. Okay, all that gas to be going to be in there mixed with that shampoo gookie. And that's what we want because that's what's going to soften that glue. Okay, my honey said we are using Tasha hair today. And this hair is the wave. Okay, so we're gonna be putting this in. It's only one pack that we're using. And we're gonna put a bang and a pony. Now, when you're dealing with curly hair, you don't need as much because it gets poofy. You know, you can tease it and make it big and it'll look like three packs. So you don't need to actually have four or five packs for this style. Only thing I'm trying to do at this point is, um, oof. That was on there. Okay, so. When you are putting tracks in for a bang, you always want to angle it to make it a sharp point to go down to wide, okay? That way, each track that you lay will cover one another. And you don't have to worry about tracks hanging out over here on the side like that. We're going to angle our tracks starting about here because I want this hair to kind of hang down on the sides. I'm going to have like something hanging here and then I'm going to chop it here. And I just want it to appear big, you know, so it's going to be like that. All right. So I want it to hang like here, you know, boom. And then if you, the further you put it out over here, even if you put it here, my honey, especially if you were just doing a straight bang, if you put it here, Okay, and that straight bang, all the hair that's from here is going to fall down over there. So take that to consideration. If you want this to literally just fall right here, then you may have to put them tracks over a little more so all this can just fall like that. But if you, the further you put it over here, these tracks up here would just fall to the side and then now you got a whole bang and all you really wanted was that much, okay? So since we're using curly hair, that hair is not going to be moving around like straight hair would. So I want it wide here because I need this to fall there and the top here would fall exactly where I want it and if not, I can cut on it and make it, you know, high like I want it to look. And then I'm going to put um, the remainder of the hair around my pony and all of that. Okay, my honey, you know I go deep into stuff, so watch me slay this ponte, okay? <laughs> Now 
One more fun fact, my honeys. When you are doing a hairstyle where the hair will come and cover your forehead, whether it's big like mine's or not, but um, you don't ever have to lay that track directly on your edge because the more that you build up on that track, it's going to fall and appear thicker anyway. So leave that edge alone, okay? Go back from that edge. Like, I could, I could start it right here on that edge and put all that glue there, and I don't want to do that. So I want to go back where it's a little tougher at. Get out. So at this point, you know, I'm at least, what, about an inch? I'm an inch back from my actual hairline. And it's not going to matter because the more I start stacking these tracks up and then I start playing with the hair and doing all that, it's going to appear uh, as if it's down there. You, you would just never know. I mean, how would you know? You would never know. <laughs> Okay, my honey, so when you put your ponytails in, okay, you can do it two ways. Um, you can put it here at the top, okay, and this gives you height. It gives you um, to where your ball would not show. The more you wrap around that ball starting from the top and then the wind blow, your ball won't be hanging out, okay? You see my ball is pretty skinny, but it's long because I wanted my pony high. I think we're going to do that one type of pony where it's just skinny and standing up, but um, mine's, is, mine's will definitely hang out if I just started down here at the base. So I'm going to start it here. You could even start it here. I always go in up there or whatever, but since I'm only wearing a bun, it doesn't matter, my honeys. I can start right here and keep it moving because I'm wearing a bun. So I feel like if you are wearing straight hair and you were doing that long pony, you will want to start it anywhere up here, like from here to here. I wouldn't even say the middle because that ball would still show. You know, you want to make sure that ball will be covered as close as possible. So them tracks coming here and here will lock in right there. Look how much ball is hanging out on top of my fingers, right? If you put it here, look how much ball is hanging out. If you put it here, look how much ball is hanging out. So that's why I'm saying I always start it right there at the tippy top so no ball is hanging out and you can barely notice any of that because the hair is covering it. So that's pretty much what I'm doing right now. And I'm gonna just wrap it on around until it's all in with these pins. I'm gonna just start wrapping this pony, my honeys. You stick that pin in there and then you push it down. It came out right there. By the time all that other hair wrap around it, you would never know. So you don't want to stick it going back because it's going to hang out the back, hang out the sides and all that. You want it to go down. The closer you get down to your base, my honeys, is when you just start sticking them straight in because all it's going to do is go underneath the pony and it's not going to hang out anywhere. But you don't want to go putting it down because that's where it's going to start itching your head and bothering your head. You can get a ball spot from these pins, so be careful. Thank you.
this is going to be the easiest hairstyle you would ever do, my honeys, okay? This ponytail is already crinkly, wavy, and all that. So, it's just so simple to wrap around and just make it appear cute, okay? So, I just wrap, rapidly wrap, um, and pull me some pieces out, my honeys. So, therefore, I can just make it look a little messy and cute. And you can see the curls that will match the bang. And just a little, you know, being creative, just doing stuff, I guess. <laughs> but it was pretty easy to just wrap it around because it doesn't have to be perfect at all. Not with curly hair. That's why I like kind of working with curly hair over straight hair. You have to do a little more work when it comes to that straight hair ponytail or bun, rather. Because you got to make it look, you know, look like something. You, know? you can't just slap it in like this one. But... I'm using them pins to lock and load it, and then um, we're going to move on to this bang. So, these curls, you want to break them down, okay? That's what's going to help it to appear fuller. You know I only use one pack for the whole style, so I have probably half of the pack for the bang and then the other half for the uh, bun, but you can actually use more for the bang and less for the bun because, like I said, it's curly hair, so it really doesn't matter about no bun, you know, but... I broke them curls down on the bang, okay, so I can get my fullness. And now I'm just cutting at it. And as I'm cutting my honeys, I'm looking to the side. I'm looking down. I'm looking up because what you don't want is to have little areas and sections that's flat or the curl don't look right. So you got to look at it in all aspects, okay. Just put that head down, up, and just cut on it and play with it. Make it appear fuller, you know, whenever you comb out curls or play with them or mess with them. The more you do that, the bigger they get anyway. So now I'm going in combing on it. Okay, I'm going to have to go in and cut off some little loose ends again. But that's just how we are building our style. So I'm looking from the side. Then I'm looking from the other side. And I'm just looking at every angle possible just to make sure, my honeys, that we don't have nothing that we have missed out as far as the bang. Okay. You know what I'm about to say. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> it's like, okay. Usually you do this style with just a straight bang and, you know, Chinese tea choppy, however, and then your little bun or whatever. I like how the little messy hairs is hanging out. I also like how high that the bang actually is coming from the pony like that. I like that, okay. Uh, I like my peanut head in the back. Oh, that's fine with me. Okay. I personally would have wanted these sides a little longer, but this is fine. I ain't going to let that bother me. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about the style. It was so quick. What y'all think? It was literally quick. Like, once I put that grease in my hair and straightened it, the molding process was nothing. Like, it clearly molded itself, okay? And then after everything was molded, all I did was just went over it and sprayed it while I was blow drying it to give it the shine, you know, and all of the sleekness. I went and threw me some brows on my honey and just, some, you know, some little lashes or whatever. And also, my honeys, if you have not already, make sure you subscribe, make sure you hit the bell, make sure you at least right now go run and like this video, okay? Because, or dislike it, I guess, I don't know. But I feel like it's a banger. I don't think it's a viral look, but I think it's a banger. I like it, like it. So, go ahead and make sure you go check me out on Instagram as well. And like I said before, you know, when you go over there on Instagram, it's a little more personal. It's a little more about me into my life and all, and also, I have, 
you know, a little more details of what's going on. And also, I do hair, a lot of hair at home, so I post those pictures on there. So you can look at some of those styles, my honeys, and just let me know, oh, this is something that's cute. I want to see her do that, remake that, however, okay? We're overdue for another braid style. So I got that coming. I got one in mind that I want to do, and I cannot wait to do with my honeys. So, at this point in the video, <laughs> I will see my honeys. On the next one, the next one. Bye, guys. Love you guys.